Hello again. Winter is slowly approaching, a season of fog, cold but also troublesome smog. We are increasingly aware of the harmful effects of air pollution on our health. Fortunately, there are more and more devices that allow us to control air quality and perhaps thanks to it, you will be able to limit or prevent contact with poor air teamed with harmful pollutants more effectively. The great example is wireless PM2.5 air quality sensor by Ecoit. Thanks to it, you can measure PM2.5 concentration in the air at your home or garden. To do so, the appliance has high quality Honeywell HPM series particle sensor. You will not have to rely on other sensors located far away or in the other surroundings. The advantage of the EcoWeed sensor is relatively low price and solar panel support, but will it meet our expectations? At the beginning, it is worth recalling the previously reviewed wireless HP 3501 Wi Fi weather station by EcoWeed, because if you already have it, the air quality sensor will be its valuable extension. The readings will be presented both on the display console and on the ecovid.net weather data platform. The PM2.5 uh, sensor was delivered to me with the batteries inserted and even when the package was waiting for unboxing, it already connected to the console and the readings were being uploaded on the ecovid.net database. However, if you are only interested in air quality monitoring, and do not want to buy the entire station, the PM2.5 particle sensor can be purchased uh, together with the JW1000 Wi-Fi gateway. The sensor is accessory only, so it cannot be used alone. The data will be read by the gateway and live uh, data can be observed on the mobile phone through the WSView application. If you have already uh, bought the J. W1000 gate and configured it, uh, you don't have to uh, do anything because the sensor should connect to, uh, to it uh, automatically. We can connect up to four WH41 sensors to the gate. Uh, each will work in a separate uh, channel. Remember only that if you want to keep the sensor inside, it should not be closer than 1.5 meters. Uh, 5 feet from the uh, Wi-Fi gate. However, it should be reason reasonably uh, close while the configuration to to be sure about the communication with the gateway. I did not have a problem with the sensor reception, but I did not set it far on the terrace railing. Of course, the more airy the location and the far from all barriers, the better. The manufacturer recommends placing the sensor uh, up to 30 meters from the gate. This distance, even with possible obstacles such as walls, should allow for trouble-free reception. The data from WH41 sensor can be seen on WH0290 display. Unfortunately, you have to buy, uh, buy it separately. In my view, it looks very attractive, but I didn't receive it uh, with the sensor, so I won't uh, show it you here. The name of this wireless sensor implies that it is a measurement of um, suspended dust of not uh, more than 2.5 micrometers in diameter, which according to the World Health Organization is the most harmful to human health among other atmospheric pollutants. As you can tell, the net detection range of this sensor is even wider. Its operation is to detect a lot of aerosols, moisture level, cigarette, cigarette smoke, dust, including animal dander. Thus, tracing air quality can be a big advantage in indoor conditions for allergy sufferers and sensitive groups. Another ad material of the sensor suggests the possible internal locations. As you can see, we can check the level of air pollution in the car. Basically, it is a good place, especially when you are in a traffic jam or in the city center, but we also need to carry with us separately purchased display console to be able to observe the measured results in real time. 
other suggested interiors, uh, the kitchen, office and bedroom, which is prob probably the best place for the sensor because we want to know if we are breathing uh, clean air at home and keep the air quality within safe levels. However, in my case, I place the sensor outdoors on an external window sill uh, at my bedroom, as the sensor has IPX4 waterproof design. Okay, but let's look at my PM 2.5 air quality sensor. Its dimensions are small, it's a white plastic box about 4 inches wide, uh, by almost 3 inches in height and length with holes on the sides for free airflow and a large solar panel on top. And I must admit that it is very efficient module sustaining uh, operation of the device for a long time without charging. At the bottom we have a compartment for uh, two rechargeable batteries, next to it the USB input uh, for uh, charging and uh, LED. When it is uh, red, uh, indicates radio data transmission to the Wi-Fi gateway or console. The sensor sends data every 10 minutes. Uh, when the diode is blue, it means the battery charging status. The estimated life of the sub supplied uh, batteries uh, in the sensor is 3 weeks without using the solar panel. Theoretically, if we place the sensor in a well sunny position and can it can work without additional charging for quite a long time i have it for over a month and i can still see that it's its charge status uh, has three for five total bars i can see it in the ws view application collecting data from jw1000 wi-fi gateway however you must remember that their sensor must be located in an easily accessible place because you need to recharge the batteries from time to time to do this you, you must connect it uh, to the usb socket with a provided cable the sensor can be screwed to a flat surface with uh, four screws you need to detach the black base and uh, screw it uh, on and then slide in the upper part However, if you wanted to temporarily attach the sensor somewhere, this would be a problem because there are no additional fixing holes on the sides. However, you can see that the sensor is designed to put it indoors simply without screwing. It is also better not to mount the sensor vertically because rain may enter through the gaps and it may interfere with the readings. As I mentioned, current measure measurements can be tracked uh, through the WS View application. After Wi-Fi configuration in uh, Wi-Fi gateway, you can trace the concentration of atmospheric particulate uh, matter (PM) that have uh, a diameter of less than 2.5 micrometers as well as real-time and 24 hours average air quality level indicator. Good, moderate, poor, unhealthy, severe and hazardous. These are the possible, the possible options. I think the air quality sensor provides information that requires some explanation. PM 2.5 is given, given in microgram per cubic meter. Why is this parameter so important? These are fine particulate matters, 2.5 micrometers in diameter or smaller, which come from power plants, industrial processes, vehicle tailpipes, wood stoves and even wild fires. It impacts your health and can cause respiratory issues such as allergies, asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, lung cancer, etc. In Europe, the permissible level for the annual average concentration for PM 2.5 is 25 microgram per cubic meter. Above the value, the air pollution with PM 2.5 is considered as unhealthy. However, more prominent data on the panel is AQI 
air quality index, a number used by government agencies to communicate to the public how polluted the air currently is or how polluted it is forecast to become. Computation of the AQI requires an air pollutant concentration over a specified averaging period. Luckily, you do not have to think about interpretation of PM 2.5 value in the mobile application and on ecoe.net. You have information on air quality based on sensor readings in the form of an icon and short text description. Moreover, uh, for more thorough explanation, you can find the table in the uh, in attached manual with an interpretation of what lies behind the messages about the air quality with cautionary statement included. Under the running PM 2.5 value, you can see also 24 hours AQI. This is more suitable indicator for evaluating the health impact of fine particles. This is because the potential damage caused by air pollutants depends not just on the concentration, but, but also on the duration of exposure. The longer you are exposed to PM 2.5, the higher the risk of developing adverse effects caused by the exposure. That's why a 24-hour measurement is a better reflection of the health effects of fine particles than, say, a 3-hour reading. You can find more about air pollution on the given website. Via the JW1000 Internet Gateway, uh, you can also send air pollution data to your uh, weather station website. Uh, this is quite a useful and valuable uh, possibility because you can not only control the air quality outdoors by yourself, but also warn your neighbors or residents from the neighborhood. Thanks to Raffaello Di Martino, who wrote the air quality ECOID plugin for Meteo template. You can show the PM2.5 readings from your sensor as an attractive data presentation involving recommendations of conduct. In principle, it is the implemented table shown in the user manual. Unfortunately, the PM 2.5 measurements that are being registered by your air quality sensor cannot be uploaded to weather data platform like Weather Underground. It is reasonable to ask to what extent the measurements from the sensor are compliant with the actual state of the atmosphere. It is difficult to check because the PM 2.5 level is very diverse and largely refers to local conditions. I must admit that the PM 2.5 sensor itself is very sensitive and actually responds to changes in air quality very quickly. The only drawback is the overstating of readings during high humidity, in rain or fog, and it is a situation that smog actually, uh, actually uh, usually occurs in Europe, especially in winter. Ecoid warns about it on its website. The sensor is sensitive to liquid droplets coming from rain, fog or sprinkling because it detects uh, them as PM 2.5 contamination. It's hard to avoid this issue for laser sensors. So you can filter the records under such conditions or put the sensor indoors. 
Let's assume, however, that we place the sensor outside and we have humidity below 90%. The exemplary data shows that uh, the PM 2.5 level remains healthy below 15 micrograms per cubic meter. Peaks of PM 2.5 particles during the day uh, can actually mean uh, poor air quality due to smoke coming from nearby uh, chimneys. However, air quality is, is uh, improving quite quickly. At the end of the day, the wind speed uh, drops and the humidity increases uh, over 90%. This is reflected in the uh, measured level of PM 2.5, which does not fall below 20 micrograms per cubic meter by the end of the day. The graph is quite flat, uh, which uh, indicates that the level of uh, measured uh, particles is quite even and its increased value may be due to the higher content of water vapor in the atmosphere. This can also be seen on another chart at night during dense fog with humidity near the ground reaching 99% and 96% on 2 meters above the ground. The sensor measurements is overestimated. It did not go below 80 micrograms per cubic meter all night. The cor correlation between humidity and measured dust level 2.5 is easy to see every foggy night. What about the situation? I decided to transfer the sensor from the balustrade at 2 meters in height to the outdoor window sill on the first floor, where there is less humidity caused by vegetation near the ground. It helps a little to reduce the impact of moisture on the readings, but in my opinion the best solution in fog, rain or other or other uh, conditions of increased humidity is to place the sensor on the internal window sill uh, in uh, your home. Unfortunately, small pollution particles still penetrate our windows, so if we actually have poor air quality, we will notice it even by taking measurements inside. All in all, the big advantage of the EcoWeed sensor is its relatively low price. It costs about $60. Uh, in my opinion, it is not worth uh, looking for more expensive sensors because it uh, has been reported that they also does not give exact values at uh, very high humidity. The PM2.5 sensor seems to be very sensitive to any changes in air quality and shows it in a convenient way. However, I consider it as an approximate information. By all means, you should be happy with the sensor when you want to control air quality at your home, preferably in the bedroom or office. If you have an air filter at home, thanks to the sensor, you will know when to turn it on. I hope that uh, such equipment like the Eco with the WH41 sensor will gain popularity and it will raise uh, public awareness of poor air quality and we will be more careful about the environment in which we breathe. I recommend it. Thanks for watching.